<laughs> hey, you guys. Um, welcome. We are so excited to talk to you about guts tonight. Um, but I just wanted to, we're, well, let's just introduce ourselves really quickly. We have slides about ourselves, but like, let's just introduce ourselves really quickly if that's okay, you guys. Um, I am Rachel Mitchell. I am a health and wellness coach. We all are, and we're excited to share with you tonight about what, um, about a program, honestly, that has been changing our lives. And I've been a coach for seven and a half years and I love what I do. I love Team Beachbody, but I love that we also get to test out everything on ourselves and teach other women how to do this by inviting God into the, the whole eating and workout process. And so gut health is something I'm passionate about something I'm always learning about. And I know that um, this is just going to be something fantastic for those of you who decide to join us. So Kimberly, I'm going to pass it off to you. I'm Kimberly Davis. Um, I have been a coach for two and a half years. Um, and like Rachel, I have just, this gut health protocol, gut protocol program, um, has been so good for me. Um, honestly, and I'll, we, I share a little bit of this later. Like I didn't think I needed this program. I was like kind of skeptical and didn't really want to do it, but our job as coaches is to test out these programs and be proof that what we are sharing actually works. And so I knew as a business owner and as a coach, I needed to do it. And it was just, it was so good. Like I can't even um, hardly describe like the differences that I feel and the changes that I saw. Um, and so we are just so excited that you guys are here to learn more and hopefully we'll go on this journey with us, um, and just see the changes in your life. Like we have seen in ours. Yes. Love that. And I'm Shannon. Um, I am a coach and also, um, in my third trimester, I'm 30 weeks pregnant tomorrow. And I did the first, uh, round of gut protocol, not perfectly and had to stop early to, from being sick. But I noticed in the first three weeks that I did it, um, I just like the pregnancy fatigue wasn't there. Like it was when I, when I, before I started it. And that was such a game changer to me. I have two small, boys now and keeping up with them as a challenge and just feeling myself with all of the plants and kicking out all of those inflammatory things just really helped my, um, mom battery pack keep going longer when, um, I know if you've ever been pregnant, you know, at about seven or eight, you're just max. And I found that I could just keep going, um, taking care of my family. And that was just huge to me. And I also stayed within the normal weight, uh, gain for pregnancy. That's healthy when normally I I'm just a I'm a bloater, bigger, bigger blower up. <laughs> so that was really cool. And I'm excited to continue sharing you with you guys and maybe do round two together. So cool that she did it while pregnant. Like that's just awesome. Okay. All right. So we have some really cool slides because we are going to share, honestly, a lot of information with you tonight um, about gut health, about the program, more of a little bit of our stories, but we really want to make sure that you are able to make an informed decision. Uh, we've been through the program. We know that it works. We know what to expect, and we want to make sure that you're equipped to make that decision. So we're literally, the three of us are just going to, we're each going to bounce back and forth between the slides and we're going to just walk you through what gut health is, what it affects and what this program does to help us each address our own gut health issues. And we're all going to be different. So, you know, you may struggle with some symptoms that I don't and vice versa. Um, so just, just listen. Um, so get the information, you know, if you're watching the recording back, feel free to ask us questions, but we're really excited to share with you tonight. Um, I told you a little bit about me, but I did start in 2014 with Although I didn't really realize it was clean eating, it was clean eating. Um, I started with the 21 day fix, going back old school, um, had the DVDs, but it also came with this little book that told me what to eat and in how many portions. And it really helped me get control of my eating, um, my binge eating, but I also really started to realized that as I was eating the foods that the program told me to, I started to see an improvement in my hormones, in my energy, in, you know, being able to fall asleep. And at the time I didn't really realize it was clean eating, but it was definitely a very good start to clean eating and just really eliminating a lot of the foods that do cause inflammation. Um, I was able to get off my birth control, which I was only taking for my hormones and my cholesterol meds. And so it was a great start. Well, fast forward, <laughs> 
to 2020, uh, you know, I think COVID kind of got us all. COVID probably did a lot of gut damage for many of us. You know, we were home, we ate, I had glasses of wine on the regular, and I probably did a lot of damage to my gut. And I started to notice I was gaining weight. I couldn't get it off. I saw some, some of my hormone symptoms creep back in and I was just very unsettled and didn't feel as good as I could. So I actually researched the whole 30 and I finished it. I did it last summer and I felt great. I got great results, but then I just went back to eating the way that I had been eating before. Um, not not bad, like 80, 20, 80% clean, but I was still letting in a lot of foods like dairy and corn and, and some alcohol here and there and sugar here and there, especially with the holidays. And I kind of found myself back to where I was. And I realized that, Hey, if I'm going to heal my gut, I'm going to have to really, really, really get serious about it. Uh, commit to it. And oh my gosh, like when they announced that gut protocol was coming out, I was like, God, thank you. It was like stars shining down. And it was just, it just, honestly, I believe that God created or God allowed this program to be created when it was for so many of us coming out of COVID and, you know, just able to heal ourselves and get back into a normal functioning healthy um, body. So today I'm happy to say uh, this is my second round of gut protocol. The first one, I had some figure it out issues, but you guys, my period came last month. And I didn't even know it. Like I'm sleeping awesome. I'm waking up really, really easily. I'm consuming less caffeine. It's just like been an eye opener, um, even like even more so than whole 30 was. So I'm really excited for people to do this with us. Okay. So for me, like I said, I didn't really think that I needed this program. Um, I was kind of skeptical when I first started hearing about gut health. I honestly thought it was like a gimmick. I was like, that doesn't, that's stupid. That's not a real thing. Um, but the last several months I, well, I'll go back. I started my health and fitness journey in 2019. Um, I have three kids and at the time they were, gosh, eight, five, and three, I think some, somewhere around there. And I just was like overwhelmed and anxious and had gained some weight and knew I needed to change. And so I started, um, and like Rachel, I started with the portion containers and cleaning up my eating and committing to a workout program. And I got really good results and, um, kind of, I kind of continued to get results. Um, you know, over the holidays, I'd pick up a few pounds and then I'd drop. And then it was kind of just this little wave up and down for a while. Um, but over the last couple of months here recently, I started to notice that I was really tired all the time. Like I'd get my older two kids off to school. Um, and while my youngest was watching TV after he ate breakfast or whatever, I'd lay down and take like a 20 minute cat nap. Um, I was having really, really intense sugar cravings, um, having some digestive bathroom issues and my period symptoms and hormone, um, symptoms were totally out of whack. And so I had been telling myself that these things are probably just normal. Everybody deals with these things. Like I'm a mom, I have three kids we're busy. Like, of course I'm going to be tired, but I decided to go for it. And as I was cutting out the caffeine and the sugar and, um, the foods that you cut out that, are, that can cause some of these gut issues and adding in a variety of plants and the foods that were really clean and really nutritious for my body. I started to see that I didn't need the two to three cups of coffee. I was drinking every day. I didn't need the cat nap in the morning. I, my cravings went down. I was way more regular in the bathroom. Um, my PMS and hormone symptoms really leveled out and I just felt so good. And so I just would encourage you, like, if you're thinking that gut health is a gimmick or you don't need this, or some of the things that you're, you're experiencing or feeling, you are just saying that they're normal. I would really encourage you to consider doing this program and just see what happens, just see what happens, because that's kind of how I felt like, I'll just try it and see, um, really not believing that the changes would come, but they did. And so think about it, pray about it. And we hope that you will join us for this next round. Okay. So just to walk you through a little bit of the things that I experienced, which are similar, similar, um, to Kimberly, but because I'm in, uh, 
a, a pregnancy, I was a little skeptical of doing this, but I actually said when, what better time to do it? Um, the thing about these programs is it really helps you focus in on eliminating junk. And, um, I've had some postpartum depression in the past and postpartum anxiety. Um, and I learned in therapy that in inflammation, um, and <clears throat> serotonin were a big, a big player in that. So I felt God after praying about it, just be like, this is a way to help level you out before birth happens. So I, I used it in a different way um, than a lot of people, but um, it, it's just been helping me stay the course um, in pregnancy. And that's just such an answer to prayer. Um, I've been praying against, you know, hormones and all the things that can happen during pregnancy and being able to bring down that inflammation um, and eliminate a lot of the normal pregnancy fatigue has been such an answer to prayer. And I know <coughs> if you have a job, maybe you're keeping up with kids, um, you need every ounce of energy that you can. And there are so many energy suckers today, whether it's social media, whether it's just um, news and different arguments coming at you from different people when you scroll your feed. Um, we want to protect our energy. And a way to do that is to eliminate junk and see what you really feel like when your body is not stressed and inflamed. Um, and that's what this program does. Um, I found that I had less mood swings um, because we know inflammation leads to snapping and anger and, um, you know, processing things, um, in a way that you can't really pause what you're about to say, even if the Holy spirit tells you to. Um, and I just found that I had a little bit more control. My thoughts were a little bit more organized, um, just after the first week. So, um, if you do this with us and, and you're thinking of the whole four weeks, um, we just take it one day at a time, um, one meal plan at a time and, and just focus on that rather than the whole bite of the, take one bite of the apple rather than the whole thing. Um, and you're going to start to notice enough benefits early on that you're going to get the fuel to keep going um, and those positive wins to keep going. So I'm so honored to be able to do this again with y'all. Um, it, is it like a little bit inconvenient to give up some of the cravings that I enjoy while pregnant? Yes. Is it um, going to be uncomfortable to start again altogether? Yes. Is the prep a little bit longer? Um, but y'all, there is no better feeling than to wake up knowing you have food ready to go in the fridge um, that you don't have to think about. That's going to fuel your body, fuel your family, um, and be something that you don't have to think about. So I'm super excited um, to, to walk this journey again with you guys. Okay. So thank you guys. That's awesome. I love hearing your stories. That always makes me so excited. Um, what is the four week gut, pro gut protocol? So you hear us talk about it. You talk we talk about gut health. Sorry, my dog is loud. Um, uh, protocol. It is a, um, it is a unique, it is very unique. Honestly, it isn't even the, what I expected it to be. It's a nutrition program that is designed to actually help heal your gut. So I'm not a scientist and I'm not like somebody that you should take medical advice from. From. But um, I have done a lot of research on this and this program is rooted in, in research and science and designed by a nutritionist, but our bodies, if we eat foods that don't promote healing, that don't um, serve our bodies well, we basically are, are creating holes in the lining of our gut that allows foods to get into our body faster. And the foods that cause inflammation, it gets into our bodies faster, which causes a whole host of pro problems. Like, um, like, I mean, like we talked about hormone issues, uh, rashes, skin issues, you know, um, that bathroom problems, hormone issues. It's just, everything is related to the stress that causes comes from our body and stress does happen in the guts. And so this program actually is going to have us eliminate some common foods that cause inflammation and cause stomach distress and actually add foods that will promote a healthy gut and, and reduce inflammation. So over the course of the four weeks program, the creator of this program who's who she's put together some great videos that teach you exactly what to do as well as some printable resources but basically you are going to eliminate 
gluten, um, dairy, which we all, all know these things cause inflammation um, on our bodies, processed sugars, alcohol, um, most grains, soy, and definitely corn. So those are some foods that you will remove for a period of time, not forever. And there's a reintroduction process, which is going to actually help you figure out what is causing your body stress and, and inflammation. So um, Autumn Calabrese is going to walk you through this. She is the creator of this program. Like I said, there are step-by-step -step videos that actually teach you exactly what you're going to be doing. Um, and every week there's a new video that talks about symptoms that you may be feeling that week. Like I'll be honest, the first week is hard for most people, especially in our American diet society. We're consuming fast food. We're consuming sugar. We're consuming sugary drinks and alcohol on the regular. So when you take all those things out, naturally your body is going to respond in a like, oh crap, what is she doing to me kind of way. So um, this course definitely walks you through um, what's happening each week in your body, which I personally loved. But the video courses include um, the foundations for a healthy gut, like what actually um, is our gut and how can we take care of it? The four R's, what we're going to remove, what you're going to replace those foods with, um, replenishing our diets with more plants and talk about probiotics and prebiotics as well. Um, she, there's a video talking about what to add in. So this is very much, uh, this program encourages you to eat a lot of plants and she'll talk about the science behind that. Then there's a video um, explaining how to calculate actually how much food you need to eat in a day. Um, and that's different for all of us based on our goals and based on our, our current weight. Um, she talks about colorful eating habits, reintroduction, and like I said, the weekly videos. Kimberly, you want to take her now? Sure. So this program shows you how the food that you're putting into your body will impact your gut, how it impacts your health and how that plays out into your overall health, into your daily life. Um, it will help you discover foods that are impacting your digestive system and give you the tools that will help you overcome your discomforts. Um, she does, like Rachel said, she does provide a lot of helpful resources. Um, but this program is, is unique in that, um, everybody's body is different and everybody's body is going to react to things differently. And so this is really important as you're going through the program to really pay attention to how you feel after you eat a meal and pay attention to those foods and um, there's resources for tracking what you eat and writing things down and how your body reacts because the way my body reacts to some of the plant-based proteins that we incorporate into this, um, into our food, um, like my body handled that really well. Whereas I know for Rachel, her first round, some of those plant-based proteins didn't sit well with her. And so, um, there's not a lot of like pre-made meal plans and that's kind of on purpose because everybody's unique. And so I would just encourage you to not let that overwhelm you or scare you, but just to know that we are here and we will help you. Um, but this is to really get to know how your body reacts. Um, so who is this program for? Honestly, this program is for everybody. Like everybody should do this program. Um, she talks about in the program, how 70% of Americans have undiagnosed food sensitivities and you don't necessarily have to be feeling your worst. Um, you don't have to have the horrible gas or all of these symptoms, but you can benefit from this program no matter where you are. So I would encourage you to do it. It's, it's just so good. Um, this program is not focus on weight loss. Um, honestly, more than likely, like depending on what you're eating now, going to this, um, doing this program, you probably will lose weight loss just by default, but that's not the main goal. Um, it's, if you feel like something is off and you can't quite put your finger on it, if you're feeling some weird things and you just think, I don't know what this is, then you should do this program because it's going to help you identify a lot of things that you're feeling. Um, if you're under a lot of stress, you're not getting quality sleep, have been struggling to get, um, those last few pounds off, or if you've hit a plateau or starting to gain weight and you can't figure out why this could be, um, the next step for you to begin healing your body from the inside out and breaking through those plateaus. Um, this, like I said, it's more about learning your body and what feels good for you and what doesn't. 
Um, Kimberly, I can go ahead and take these. So um, we just wanted to include some pictures of people before and after. And I know it can be, maybe you're scrolling and you're like, oh gosh, someone's sharing a before and after. Maybe you get like kind of numb to seeing them, but we share these because it shows you what's possible. I know when I see someone's before and after, it shows me number one, evidence that can overcome, you know, maybe challenges that my brain is trying to throw up before starting a new routine. Um, But it also shows, I think with this program specifically, that while weight loss isn't a number one thing that we're going to talk about first, it's just something that naturally happens as your body is no longer stressed um, and can kind of stop inflaming itself. And it literally, you know, gets smaller from doing that. So, um, a lot of people's headaches were gone from this. I've heard that over and over and over. I think that's just a testament to the inflammation going down. Um, and of course, we're constantly hearing um, gaining more energy and um, and just less stomach pain. Um, and I think that goes along with the, the stat that they um, compiled that so many people have food sensitivities um, that have just become their new normal. Uh, so being bloated after a meal is just like, oh, I better lay down like I'm done eating. Well, no, you shouldn't have to lay down, you know. Um, so there's many things beyond the scale that, that are available to you. Um, so we begin on May 16th next week. Um, is that, what day is that of the week? I just want to make sure I'm clear. That's, um, that's Monday. So usually, um, we'll do prep together. Um, and we basically give you little steps each day to lay the foundation for a solid routine. Um, some of you watching this might already have started your prep and that's awesome. Um, we're just gonna, this will be in our, uh, BOD group, um, which is essentially the Beachbody app that you use to log in and watch your videos. And basically we call it our sweat flicks or our virtual gym. It has all of the, um, uh, workouts that you could ever need and, and nutrition programs, but it also has basically, um, similar to a Facebook group, but on our app. So you're not distracted by constant notifications and news that can be found on social media that maybe your brain just isn't ready to handle at the moment. Um, we have daily inspiration check-ins, um, and just general questions to help you dig deep and have accountability on your journey to make sure that you're, um, feel loved and not forgotten. Um, We also are going to share weekly meal plans and recipes um, and lives from one of us that will help you, um, you know, encourage you on your journey and help you not give up. Um, Okay, so day one is May 16th. So week one is May 23rd, week two, May 30th, and then we go into June. Um, And we give you these dates because one thing that's really helpful is to look at your calendar. I was talking to Brooke, who I think is listening on this call, and she had a wedding that we were able to look at the dates and find that it was actually before prep. So it was going to be good, but I have a wedding um, at the end of May that I'm going to have to work around. And we don't want you to see something on your calendar and think, oh, I can't do it. I have to like go out that night. Um, The first round I was able to go out with friends and have a great meal of, um, I just asked them to cook it in olive oil and it was fish and vegetables and it was delicious. And I still had a great time. And I think that that's some of the things that we try to throw up as challenges that can become excuses. Um, you know, oh, well, I have this, this, and this, I won't be able to have fun. And that's actually not true at all. Um, there's a lot of flexibility and, and we don't require perfection. We want to let you know, like all of us, I think trying a new program, we're all learning. Um, but the, but the great news is, is that we're better than when we started and we're in the ring fighting for change. And that's what's most important. Yeah. And we all, I know that we all talked about this, um, the three of us who have done this before about, you know, like. I didn't do it perfectly the first time. Honestly, I haven't done it perfectly this time, Um, but we are excited to walk you through how to, like Shannon said, that's a really good example. Like how do you order at a restaurant when you're trying to eat this way? Because honestly, I mean, I think that once you go through this, you're going to want to eat this way the majority of the time when you realize how good you feel. So yeah, don't let summer, don't let events, don't let things stop you from doing this. Um, you know, we, we, we never encourage like a half-hearted mindset by any means, but we're human. Um, things are going to happen. And, you know, like I told the girls last time, your face is not going to accidentally fall into a birthday cake by any means, but you know, there are, you know, like I celebrated with some friends this weekend in Charleston, um, and had one or two things that would not have normally had on this plan, but I'm still 
getting great results and I'm on track 99% of the time. So don't let life stop you from this healing process because um, we are going to do it with you. We are excited. Like I said, we are keeping these inflammatory foods out of our diet. Um, and the healing process is amazing. After week one, after week two, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, like I don't ever want to go back. You're going to feel so good. So um, this we do have supplements that are not available at this time. So I know a lot of people had questions about this because they sold out so fast when the program launched. And that's because, you know, there are so many people out there just like you and me and Shannon and Kimberly who are, are tired of feeling the way that we have been feeling. And so the supplement sold out very quickly, but I will tell you, and they should be back in June at the beginning of June. Um, so you can get those later. If you're, if you um, are buying your challenge pack now, they won't come with that, but they will be available pretty soon. And I'm taking them. I did get them and I highly recommend them, but I also have lots of clients who did this without the supplements and they're still seeing results and feeling amazing. And we can honestly suggest to you some supplements to, to purchase if you want to add those in. These are digestive enzymes and probiotics and prebiotics that just help the absorption of the nutrients that you're going to be eating into your body. Um, vegan Shakeology is definitely, definitely, we recommend it because of the high amounts of the digestive enzymes and pre and probiotics. It does have protein. It has digestive enzymes. It has antioxidants. It has so much plant-based nutrition that is good for you and that this will help your body um, to heal. Uh, but it's also just an easy meal. If I'm being honest, it's an easy, healthy meal. Whenever you um, need to have something quick or on the go, like on the way to church, this is often my meal in the mornings. Um, and I know it is for Shannon and Kimberly too. So this is, I mean, I've been drinking Shakeology for, for seven and a half years. And, you know, it's one of the things that has definitely healed, helped um, my hormones improve. And just, I have a lot of energy when I do take this product. So we all always recommend it for our groups. Um, your package options for signing up. If you already have Beachbody on demand, uh, the Shakeology Essentials Pack is what you would get. It comes, it unlocks your four-week gut protocol. It gives you access to four weeks for everybody. Those are the workouts that Autumn created to go with this program so that you're putting less stress on your body and stress actually harms our gut. So it's all designed to work in, um, you know, just in perfect harmony. Uh, you get access to our Beachbody On Demand Interactive, a bag of Shakeology, um, some more portion fix containers, and also a shaker cup. And then um, the, the second option is not available right now because we don't have the supplements. You can unlock the program for $59.95 if you're a customer. It's cheaper if you're a coach or a preferred customer. So you have that option just to get digital access to the four-week gut protocol and four weeks for everybody. Um, honestly, we're not requiring that you have the whole pack. If you just unlock the program, I mean, I'm excited for you to do it, but I think you'll have more success if you include incorporate Shakeology with it because it is an easy meal and it does have all of that goodness in it. Um, so those are the options if you already have Beachbody On Demand. If you don't have Beachbody On Demand, if you're a brand new customer, you've never been a, uh, a Beachbody customer or you just don't have VOD right now, your best option is the 159 and that gives you a full year access to Beachbody On Demand, which houses our workout programs. When we have new launches, those programs go into, the, um, into your VOD. So honestly, I like to help my clients work through different programs. Like I want you here for a year. I want you to see success with this program and then move on to something else and to continue and to continue. So that year membership helps you do that. And then you get all the other stuff as well. Shakeology, um, you unlock your four-week gut protocol, your four weeks for everybody. You get your containers and the core ball. I forgot the core ball. That's very much a part of Beachbody. The four weeks for everybody. I love that program. You guys, like, I love that program. It was amazing. Um, so I'll let somebody else talk about the workout program. Okay, I'll take it. Um, so four weeks for everybody. It was, I was, I was a little skeptical. I'm like, okay, low impact workouts. How hard can it be? But they were, they were so good. Um, so, so Autumn, the creator of the program, um, designed the workouts, um, around your exertion and not your impact, um, to fit 
into your gut health journey. Um, it, those low impact workouts are definitely decrease the stress that you're putting on your body, which allows your body to heal. Um, and so they're not going to be easy. There is, um, a modifier in the workouts, um, that if you need to take it down a level, you definitely can, but you're still going to get in a really great workout. Um, there's a total of 16 workouts. There are four workouts each week, um, all under 30 minutes. And that includes your warm up and your cool down. Um, and then also if you have a mixed bike, or if you've been thinking about getting a mixed bike, she does also include four optional cycling rides that you can integrate into your workouts. So, um, she, while there is four workouts for every week, she does recommend that you add in a fifth day of movement on your own. And so that can be anything from stretching to a walk outside, adding in one of those rides on the bike, whatever you want to add in, um, that is there for you. Also, um, the focus on these workouts is the eccentric movement of your muscle. And so, um, you know, if you're doing a bicep curl, you're going to, you know, you'll curl up and then you slowly lower back down. Um, those types of movements have, um, the benefits of more time under tension on your muscles to maximize your strength results. Um, every minute of each workout is purposeful and effective, and is designed to complement complement the results that you're going to achieve by following the four week gut protocol nutrition plan. Okay. So now you might be thinking, you know, am I going to start? Can I do this? I think being together and seeing and hearing other people and seeing some examples of those who have walked through it, um, really helps that nudge kind of rise up to take that action and do it. Um, and we just encourage you as you pray about this um, to think about where you could be in just four weeks if you started with us <clears throat> when we begin. Um, I think that doing something together is so much easier when you're linking arms with others who are also maybe a little nervous and skeptical, but seeing one another do it despite busy jobs or, um, you know, things at home and all the responsibilities there. Um, it really can inspire you. And I think it's all, it's why all of us coach and host these groups, um, because us checking in with you helps us keep going, um, just like it does you. And we would be honored, uh, to usher you along on this journey and help guide you, uh, to get started. So I guess we can open it up now that we've kind of recapped it. Um, you've seen that it's it's very simple. We're adding in tons of plants that all have individual unique bacteria to help kind of flood our systems with good things um, and detoxifying things. And we're kicking out a lot of the stuff that kind of chokes out our body's ability to absorb nutrients um, and, and to lessen that inflammation and help free up your body to focus on what it's supposed to do, um, which results in you feeling a lot better. So that that's kind of what we're going to do together. Does anybody have any questions? Um, I know some of them will come along the way, but we wanted to open up an opportunity to ask them here. Anybody? I know the top question that I've gotten has been about the meal plans and, um, we, we do, we've done this. So we do have, can share with you the plan that we used. Um, so you don't think that you're just going to be like cobbling together things, but we do encourage you to, um, you know, look, you, watch the videos and take ours and then tweak it for your life. And we can do that all together during prep week. Um, but yeah. we don't want you to think that you're going in alone. Yeah. And, you know, I get a lot of questions, Rachel, what can you send some recipes? Um, and I love to share recipes. I've actually been sharing them on my, in my reels, but you know, really, and you guys can speak to this maybe, but like I have eaten so simply on this nutrition plan. Like I grill on, on Sunday, I roast sweet potatoes, I roast veggies. Um, you know, I have stuff on hand for a salad, fresh fruit, like you're eating such whole forms of food. Now in the first week you do have to eat, um, cooked vegetables, uh, because raw can cause more bloating and gas, but you know, just like sheet pan roasting is like, the game changer. I, we roast everything in the oven or the air fryer. So, um, you, you honestly, the simplicity of the nutrition is actually beneficial and helpful, um, in, in planning and executing the plan. It's not like a lot of complicated recipes or anything like that. So I, that's been my experience. Brooke said she just wants to heal. Yeah. yeah I would say too, like 
if you follow me at all, you know, I absolutely hate to cook. Um, it totally stresses me out. And so I was a little worried that I may not be able to do it as well as I would like, but I totally kept it so, so simple. And, um, honestly, I just like threw things together. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not a big, huge, like actual meal planner. And so like, I just, if it was time for lunch, I'd say, okay, I need this type of protein. I need this veggie, these veggies. And I just piece it together. And it was honestly, like when you cut out the junk, like the good stuff is going to taste so good that it didn't really matter if it was a big fancy meal or if it was just pieced together, like it works and you can make it work. But you did make bread. I did make gluten-free bread. The first time was a total flop. But I tried again and it turned out great. Impressive. <laughs> First time I've ever made bread in my life. <laughs> I love it. All right. Um, does anybody else have questions? We are an open book. Obviously, we get very excited about this. So, all right. Well, we kick off Monday with prep week. Honestly, you can start whenever you want. If you've already unlocked it, we've got you, we've got you, um, set up. Let's see what Laura said. Had a hard time remembering the A and B proteins and carbohydrates. That is true. So if you've done the portion bigs before, this is a little different, um, because she does, it is plant focused. So, you know, she's wants us eating more plants. So this program actually throws in some plant-based proteins and, um, a couple of different types of carbs. So it, it was definitely a learning curve for everybody who had ever done portion fix before, but it was a good learning curve. And, um, I think that a lot of people saw some great, great results. Um, Laura, you printed the sheets defining them. Yes, yes, yes. I have a binder. I had to keep my binder with me for a while just to figure it out. So, um, it's, it's fun learning. Uh, Okay, well, that's all we've got, you guys. We're excited. We're really excited. Uh, for those of you who do join us, we will have a kickoff call um, after prep week or during prep week to kind of answer any questions that you do have. So you're not going to do this alone. We will be there with you. Um, we're always, like we said, doing this with you. Um, so that just excites us to have more people to do it with. So just let the whoever invited you here, let them know if you want to get started with us on the 16th. We would be honored to walk this road with you and we're really excited about what's going to happen in 28 days okay thank y'all for joining us